What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now the first and most noticeable difference in the 5E series tractors, specifically in the three cylinder models, is going to be the change in the model numbers. Now, previously you had the 5045E, the 5055E, the 5065E, and the 5075E. And so now those have changed on the top three. Those have changed from the 5045E to the 5050, from the 5055E to the 5060, and on the 5065E has changed to the 5067E. Now the 5075E did not change, but these changes were made to better reflect the engine horsepower in the model number. Now the second change is one that you may not be familiar with if you are not a regular operator of these machines, and that is that on the three cylinder models, so in the 5055E, 5060, 5067, and 5075E, there is no more regen on these final tier four engines. So what this means is prior to this model year, you had a DPF filter or a diesel particulate filter, and you may even have to use DEF in some of these tractors. And so basically you had an exhaust cleaning method that was called a regen. So a lot of time the tractor would do this as you were running the tractor, the RPMs would speed up, it would start to clean and burn off the soot that was built up in that DPF filter. But as of 2023, that has gone away. That system has been replaced with a diesel oxidation catalyst and an EGR to help reduce those emissions without having to use that DPF filter and DEF. The big plus side to this change is that this is going to increase your runtime. It's going to eliminate that having to stop and allow that filter to clean and also save on fuel as you will not have those times where the engine is going to rev up and heat this engine up to clean out that soot out of that DPF filter. Now the third change is one that unfortunately I can't visually show you everything today being as that we do not have one in stock yet but that is going to have to do with an update in the operator station options. So before you had the option of the open operator station and the standard cab now as of 2023 you will have the option of getting the premium cab. Now some of the things that the premium cab is going to have it's going to have updated controls over on the right hand side in the operator station. You're also going to have a right hand door that you're able to open up to be able to easily get things. If say if someone brings you something over here on the right hand side or you need to be able to reach something while you're outside of the tractor that's on the right hand side, you now have that accessibility. You're also going to get a premium air ride seat and a standard buddy seat or the instructional seat that will be inside the cab as well. You're also going to have some upgraded lighting options as you're going to have LED lights in your headlights and also in your work lights. And then you'll also have the go home light setting. That's gonna be a button over on your right hand panel that you can push that's going to keep those lights on for about 30 seconds once you exit the tractor, just to make sure that you can see if you're doing those operations at night, be able to get to the vehicle that you're trying to get to, and just to light things up as you're going home. Now we're also gonna have a couple of features in this premium cab that are going to help with your line of sight. And one is going to be at the rear. In our rear windshield, you will now have the option for the wiper that's gonna come standard on that premium cab. We're also going to have an overhead window that's going to help with visualization whenever we're doing such jobs with our loader maybe whenever we're loading bales, raising stuff up into a loft or a high area, you will have that window to be able to see. Then also within the cab, you're going to have a Bluetooth radio that does have a mic so that you can use your phone in the cab. Now, the fourth change is going to have to do with our mid SCVs. These are gonna be our selective control valves. These are the hydraulic valves that run our loader. So from the factory now, you can now get a true third function valve on your hydraulic. So what this means is before, if you wanted to run such things as a grapple or maybe a four in one bucket, something that required not only the raising and lowering of the loader and the tilting of the attachment, but also an opening function like on a grapple, you had a diverter valve on the hoses that you had to change one of the functions of your two couplers. Now you can get an actual third valve from the factory so that you have an independent valve for all three of those functions. And we're not having to get off of the machine and go and change that hose to use that third function on our attachment. Now our fifth change is going to be about tire options. You're not going to have more options on these 5E series tractors from 
from the factory. Now what this is going to be is going to give you the addition of larger tires that are not only going to add to the looks of the tractor, but they're also going to aid in flotation, traction, and just the overall capability of the machine. With these larger tires, we're going to be able to get in even worse conditions, maybe muddier conditions, situations that we weren't able to get into before because we had those narrow skinny tires that are going to really just dig down and sink. Whereas now we can get that larger option, like I said, to add to that flotation and just increase productivity with your tractor. Now the last change is going to have to do here at the rear of the tractor. We all know a little bit about quick hitches. Maybe you've heard of the iMatch quick hitch system from John Deere, but now you can get that system on this tractor from the factory. So you can now order a category two quick hitch from the factory for this tractor. This is going to be an updated version of the quick hitch. It's going to be made of a cast material, which makes it lighter, but you can get that pre-installed from the factory. That way, when you get your machine, you're ready to go and hook up to those rear implements. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're looking for any John Deere parts at all, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.